your mouth and speak in the Holy Ghost. I wish you would be intentional about this moment. Open your mouth and thunder in other tongues. Your helper always gives his words. Raki bada shada, ala kubanda kaza, rasha taya, rebi akatona da, isabada ya, ashabadi koto, raketele, ashate ya, rakoto baza, ala kete ya, ashabi ya, ala korosa, raketele, ashabi ya, rakoto na, esemene da, ishabada, ala korosa, etubade, ekolase, eshamana da. Arabadasa, let it, let the believer thunder aloud. Amen. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen thunder. I announce, let your help appear. Let your help appear. Let the Lord go ahead of you. Let the Lord give you help from difficult places. Let the Lord give you help. Early help. Early help. Early help. Early help. Early help. Receive it Receive it Help them with some new negativity. Help them with a little old record. Help them with accelerator. Help them with cover. Receive the help. Receive the help. Receive the help. Receive the help. Let your amen turn the louder. That kind of help that will cause everyone that sees the work of the Lord to say that this is can only be the hand of God. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. The help that will wipe out years of waiting, years of shame. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. In another seven days, you will see help. Let you've never experienced it because the Lord has a reason to help you let help us arise let help us arise let help us arise receive your help let fellow grounds be broken receive your help let there be turn around that sounds like a lie receive your help let shame be reversed let delay be reversed let denial be reversed receive your help a father to all your doors at the same time right now right now right now right now right now let your amen turn the louder Allah Baba Sundera as your two hands are lifted from places you call difficult from issues you call stubborn at the sound of your amen let the Lord help you like never before the kind of help that will go around in your family. The kind of help that you will say every member of my family was helped. As your amen will turn that decree, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Whatever that you've been taking drugs for that has not stopped in your life. At the sound of your amen, let the help of the Lord terminate it right now. Let the help of the Lord terminate it right now. Let the help of the Lord terminate it right now. When God helps a man, help us will show up. Others, your amen will turn down. Let the Lord command the help us in your direction. Let the Lord command help us in your direction. Let the Lord command help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. I announce the delay is over. By the help of the Lord. The shame is over. By the help of the Lord. Arise and shine. For the Lord has helped you. For there is a river that may glad the city of God the Lord is in the midst of her she shall not fail the Lord will help her the Lord will help her and that right earlier let your amen turn the louder I decree it is done somebody help me turn to say my help has come I'm not sure you said that like you really meant it can you scream in my help has come I need you to say, let it anoint the devil. Thunder, my help has come. Can I pray for you that before 9 p.m. today, Kabalo Shandala, in the place where you thought that no help will ever arise, at the sound of your amen, receive the evidence of divine help. I wish your amen will thunder louder. I wish your amen will thunder louder. 
by tomorrow morning they will say yes for the Lord has chosen to help you. I announce they will say yes. For the Lord has chosen to help you. Somebody told that my help has come. I need you to shout in my help has come. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. People of God, open your scriptures to the book of Acts. Chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. We're in the book of Acts chapter 12. Your help has come. Any woman under the sound of my voice, they said your baby is dead in your womb by decree. Let it be reversed. I say let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed. Uh, there are people here, you're not seeing results like you used to. Get on your knees. You're not seeing results. It looks like there's been a depreciation. Kebarando sadia. Lebaro shadaya. As your amen will thunder, Kabanada, you will know that God gave me this word. In five days, hear me, you're not getting back the results you used to know, but listen to what God is saying. The results you're going to see will dwarf every result you've ever experienced. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. I wish your amen will thunder louder. Rise on your feet wherever you are. As your two hands are lifted, anyone here that came with cancer of the breast, I command let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. As your amen will turn that God is putting your name in the hearts of people. The people I am speaking to, at least not less than five persons, not less than five persons will call you for favor and they will say that your name just remained in my heart. Receive it. Help us come. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. I don't even know who I am declaring for. But as your two hands are lifted, may the help of the Lord lead you above the times of men. Oh my God, it shall not be by human calendar. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Somebody turned that my help has come. We read the book of Acts chapter 12. And people of God will start reading. We're reading all the way down from Acts chapter 12 um, from verse 1 all together to verse 17 are we together? right as it's the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word can we all rise on our feet and at the count of three we're going to read together one, two, three now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex setting of the church and he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Get thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him and wist not it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gates that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord had sent his angel and had delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark. 
where there were many gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to her and named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he beckoning unto them with a hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go shew these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Lord, send us help. Send us help. Send us help. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Before you take your seat, before you take your seat, I want you to know this. People of God, prior to now, when Peter was leaving the prison, allow me to just jump into the heart of the matter, was leaving the prison, Peter was following the angel. Am I correct? And every gate and every door Peter came to opened on its own accord. People of God, as soon as the angel disappeared and Peter found himself in the house of uh, uh, John Mark or be, uh, 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 knocked at the door, people of God, the Mary, the mother of John, came to the house of Mary, the mother of John. As soon as Peter found himself there, Peter was the one knocking. Even when Rhoda saw him and said, this is Peter, and ran back again, they couldn't open the door. Peter could not enter until humans opened the gate. But when he was in the prison, and when the Lord was helping him, people of God, doors were opening on their own. But people of God, when the angel was no longer there, Peter was even knocking. And even when it was Peter, it wasn't even for evil, yet they couldn't open the door for him. Can I pray for you? There is a presence that when it goes before a man, help begins to happen on its own accord. As my knees are on the ground at Koladaya at the sound of your amen I announce let that glorious presence go with you help will happen without your asking doors will open without your asking cities will open without your asking let it begin right now let it begin right now let it begin let it begin let it begin let it begin if you believe it turn die aloud amen somebody take your seat and turn down my help has come now that didn't sound like you understood it. Can you shout in my help has come? You see, this week will not pass until God rains a powerful help on your destiny. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. People of God, are you aware that Kabbalah, that one of the greatest tragedies of life is when you don't descend the season of your help? So many men have come into their help season, but they could not descend it because the situations were not convenient. Either they don't like the face who the Lord used to bring the help. Or they don't like the situation itself. People of God, they freaked out. And people of God probably walked out on their help. Because they couldn't wait a little longer for what God is about to do. People of God, this is a classical case of Peter. People of God, you know, being mortals and humans, many times you cannot descend your help. Many times. Look, the Bible said that Peter thought he was in a dream. He wasn't even sure of what was happening. Peter did not know that he was being helped. Yes. The Bible says it was actually when he left the dream and left the prison. And then when the he said, oh, was it what was happening to me? Because Peter thought, I am dreaming. I am dreaming. I am dreaming. This is not real. This is not happening. Is it possible that it's happening? Me that they said they are going to kill this night. How did I leave the prison? How is all these things happening? But people of God, when Peter could not descend his day of visitation, what he did was to follow. Did you hear what I just said? The angel touched Peter in the prison and said, follow me. Even if you don't know where you're going to, follow me. Even if you're not sure of the day of your visitation, follow me. Even if you're not sure whether this is help or not help, follow me. And people of God, no man follows his instructions. No man follows by devotion. No man follows by constant communion. No man follows as you are following every Sunday I'm in his presence. All the days I'm praying. All the days I live in sanctification. All the days I live in devotion and communion to him. As you follow people of God, help will happen even without your asking. 
am I communicating? Somebody lift up your right hand and decree after me. Say, today I receive grace to follow. Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, let me not stay on this matter. But there is an anointing that happens. There's a grace that comes on a man when the man begins to follow. People of God, there are doors that open when you begin to follow. People of God, there are things you need not pray about because as you were following, you were handling them without your knowing you were handling them. Am I communicating? People of God, so some answers are not even in fasting, they are in follow. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, follow. That was the wrong neighbor. Leave that one. Touch another one and tell them, follow. I'll tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, be consistent with your prayer life. Tell your neighbor, follow. Tell your neighbor, whatever God says, follow. Tell your neighbor, study the word. Say to your neighbor, follow. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, there is help in follow. If you believe it, turn down a louder, amen. Can you shout a bigger amen? Sir, Understand that the big scriptures present us with two dynamics of help. The Bible said as soon as the angel appeared in the prison, there was light in the prison. Light came in the prison. Light came. Great light came in the prison. People of God, for one second it was no longer dingy. For one second it didn't feel like prison anymore. For one second it didn't look dark. For one second it didn't look terrible. For one second it was a light from the glory of God. For one second, it looked actually habitable because the glory of the light of the angel was great right inside the prison. Sir, but the angel talked to him. He hit him and said, Peter, light has come in the prison, but it is not the help. I hope you get it. There are some that saw light in their prison and they say they have been helped. People of God, you saw favor and you remained where you are. That's not the kind of help that God is talking about. The kind of help that, that recycles you still on the same level. The kind of help that gives you the same experiences. The kind of help that leaves you on the... That's not the help that God is talking about today. The angel touched him and said, Arise, bind on the stand up, pick up everything you came for. The help is not for light to shine in your prison. The help is to take you out of this prison. Am I communicating? People of God, it will not be up to 24 hours. By the force of divine help, I command wheresoever you have overstayed, at the sound of your amen, I announce break out by fire. I say break out by fire. Break out by fire. Break out by fire. Raise your right hand under my help has come. Don't doubt what you're saying. Lift up your right hand. Say after me, by this time tomorrow, I will no longer be on the same level. If you believe it, let your amen turn around. Can you shout it? Say, my help has come. Shout it again. My help has come. Take your seat. When God decides to help a man, he doesn't just shine light in his prison. He walks him out of a tight corner. Did you hear what I just said? People of God, I know he's going to give you joy in the midst of the pain, but he's not going to let you remain in the pain. I know he's going to give you comfort and boldness in the midst of negativity, but he's not going to let you remain there. So, sir, shining the light in the prison is okay, but, sir, take me out of prison. I know I've seen light in this great place. Yes, yes, it doesn't look like the prison anymore, but the last time I checked, if I remain here, they will still kill me with light or with no light. Am I communicating? So, God doesn't just want to give you the help that will leave you where you are. People of God, enough of not enough of leftovers and loft of issues that leave you where you are there's a kind of help that when you look back and say this was where I was but look at where I am right now but not the kind of help that gives me the same situation the kind of help that leaves me in the same place except there is no God on this altar at the sound of your amen you see this last week of September you see this last week of September at the sound of your amen Receive help you never began for. Lift up your right hand and turn that my help has come. Shout it again, my help has come. Thunder it again, my help has come. Scream it again, my help has come. Take your seat. People of God, it is important for you to realize that the Bible says while the brethren were praying, 
the angel went to walk to the prison where Peter was. I want to say to someone out here, understand that there is never a huge help without an angelic ministration. Let me say it again. Men have never encountered huge help without angelic ministration. Let me repeat it again for emphasis. The Bible says, for you have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God. The Bible calls it the heavenly Jerusalem. And the Bible calls it innumerable company of angels. People of God, Mount Zion, people of God. Permit me to say it can represent something spiritual. But most importantly, it can also represent the congregation of the saints. The Bible calls it, now take me to the next verse if you don't mind. To the general assembly, do you get it? And church of the firstborn, this is all of us. So sir, when we are gathered here, there is innumerable company of angels. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So when we begin to pray, as you're praying right now, Kabbalah Sira, you are sending angels on assignment because they're about to enter where you cannot enter. So people of God, while the service was on and the brethren were praying, one angel was given instruction. People of God, Akendo Sabada, the Bible says innumerable company of angels. Hear me, people of God. It was only one angel that brought out Peter. So people of God, apparently, it could have only been one person that gave the instruction. Let me pack that, pack, pack that. People of God, do you know that for one act, Jesus said to Peter, I could have asked my father, you know, I would have, he would have sent us legion of angels. That is one issue, you can have a legion of angels. People of God, don't send one angel, sometimes send 20. Did you hear what I just said right now? People of God, you don't get it. If I introduce you to the warfare that happens in the realm of the spirit, people of God, when you look at the warfare that was happening between the dragon, people of God, and Michael, the Bible says the warfare was between Michael and the angels of God, and of course the angels of the dragon and all of that. There was war in heaven. So sir, there are issues where you need more than one angel. But let me say this, each and every believer is assigned an angel. Let me say this, you need to get this, this clear. People of God, your angel takes the character of the person that it is following. Listen, so Peter begins to knock. And the brethren said, that's not Peter, that's his angel. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. This is serious. Wait a minute, pastor. So his angel was with him. And they locked him up and threw him inside the prison. Angel will say, he didn't tell me anything. Shebi, I'm here. The Bible say, I did not minister in spirits. Yeah? Sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. The angel say, I'm not here. So, you are crying, your angel is here. And then it is a boss that is disturbing you in the office. What are you doing? What are you doing? Send the angel. Angel, hold them by the neck. Let them sign that document. If they don't sign it, don't leave them alone. Lift up your right hand. Say, I send my angels. I, I, I say, I am in my season of help. I send my angels on assignment. Whatever that is mine. Say, gather them. Gather them. Gather them. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. And he shall give his angels charge over thee. That thou mayest not dash thy foot against the stone. But sir, how you use them is what matters. It's not what the scripture says. So every angel assigned to you takes your character. So you are a dull person in the spirit. Your angels are dull. They are very dull. That's why there's no activity around you. You don't have, the Bible says he maketh his angels, spirits, and his, at the same time, his ministers, flames of fire. So as he's making his angels, he's making his ministers. What do your angels look like? You are sleeping. Your angels are there. They are not sending me on anything. I am here. I have been sent. I have been given charge over these ones. Am I communicating? People of God, by the ministry of the angels, wherever what belongs to you that will make you say the Lord has helped you, at the sound of your amen, let it be released unto you right now.
Let it be released unto you right now. Let it be released unto you right now. Let it be released unto you right now. Lift up your two and say, my help has come. Shout it again, my help has come. My help has come. My help has come. Let your amen turn the louder. People of God, I want you to understand that as soon as the angel comes and then Peter leaves the first prison because they threw him into the innermost, like the holy of holies of prison. That's where they threw Peter in. People of God, Peter leaves the first prison ward. He needed to leave yet the second one. And he needed to leave yet the third gate, which the Bible calls the iron gate. Peter kept leaving from one prison to another. Let me say this to some of you. When God helps, he doesn't help you in a way you will need help. He will help you in a way you will understand he has completed it. So sir, if the angel led Peter out from ward one, and Peter comes out of ward one, there's no more help, people of God. You know that help does not amount to anything. Some of you started seeing green light, but it was not complete. Some of you started thanking God. Lord, thank God the help I, I have been desiring has finally happened. If your amen were thunder. Let that help be complete in 72 hours. I wish your amen were thunder louder. I announce the Lord is completing it. The Lord is completing it. The Lord is completing it. Right now. 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 Let your amen thunder louder. People of God, I need to say this so that you hear it and put it in the deepest corner of your mind. When they grabbed Peter, sir, and put him inside the prison, they made him highly unprepared for his help. So when the angel comes to see Peter, the Bible says great light shined in the prison. First of all, Peter was sleeping. Wake up and raise him up. Number two, arise up quickly. Number three, his chains fell off from his hands. Uh -huh. And then the angel said to him, get thyself. And the angel also said to him, bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And then he said unto him, cast thy garment about thee and follow me. People of God, let me rewrite this scripture. Let's do this scripture the other way around. The angel comes into the prison, wakes up Peter and says, help has come. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Don't forget that they stripped him naked. Or he chose to strip himself naked inside the prison. So, sir, help has come. And then the angel leads Peter. Peter is following the angel. And then he leaves what one prison. Leaves what two prison. Then leaves the iron gate, enters into the city. And Peter is walking, following the angel. Peter, ah, ah, bro P. Bro P. And Peter will be saying, is the help of God. Is the help. So he helped you only to show your nakedness. Meanwhile, it was God that helped him. But the help only showed the world his nakedness. I'm not sure you are getting this. It is God that helped him. But the Lord, after helping him, now showed the world this one is not prepared. He was praying for a help that he was not prepared for. He was praying for a marriage. She was praying for a marriage. She's not ready for. She's not ready at all. They were praying for open doors. They were not ready for. So the first thing the angel said, get ready for your help. Put on your clothes. Put on your sandal. The Lord can help you, but it will be a shameful one if you are not ready. So you could have Bropi as Bropi stepped out of the prison. And helped man. <laughs> he sent his angels. Ah, sweet the way gates and doors are opening for me. Bro P will become a laughing stock even after he has been helped by God. So it will look like, God, did you just bring me out to disgrace me? I know we are talking about help of God. Prepare for it. As we're praying for help, sit down and say, God, what do what do I do differently? What do you want me to prepare for? What should I learn? 
What do I need to say? How should I behave? We have a generation that desires the help of God. But I can bet my life on it that 70% are not prepared for it. Lord, teach me what I need to know. Teach me how to talk. Teach me how to honor. Teach me how to behave. Teach me when to be quiet. Teach me when to talk. Teach me when all I have to do is to smile. Teach me how to control my temperament. Teach me how to be disciplined. Teach me how to stay in front of a king and put a knife on my throat. You know what I mean by that. Teach me how to enter and all of that. And the king is offering me all kinds of vanities. And then I don't sit back and say, oh my goodness. The Lord has decided to prepare a table before me in the prayer. Teach me how to tell the king, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't need it now. Maybe sometime later. Teach me what I need to know so that I will not disgrace myself when I get there. Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, it looks like pastor is talking to you. Because all that God is saying to you, I know you need a man like yesterday. If a man comes now, you are going to marry him tomorrow. I know you need you the need man. Well, you don't have a prayer life. You can't sustain that home because the home you are getting into is a battle-ridden home. So build capacity for where you are going to. You are still managing to wake up and be sleeping between NSPPD time and all of that. You have not yet gained spiritual stature. The maturity to push it. People of God, prepare for your help. Prepare for your help. God, I need, I know you're going to take me to boardrooms when I'm going to sit. It doesn't take God anything to make. But people of God, the way you talk does not look like boardroom. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Prepare for your help. Maybe all the Lord is saying to you, he said, you got everything right. You got the certificates, but you've not gotten your dressing right. Dress like where I am taking you to. I'm about to help you, but you've got to put your breast inside your bra and cover it very well because of the help. I want to help you. Do you understand what I am talking about? Prepare for your help. Because we'll be here shouting, the help of God, that God will come. When he decides to show his grace, he will help you without nothing. But how do you get out there and the world will see that there is nothing you have? You will just be appearing empty. The bringer say, what's your opinion about this? He say, I agree with you. I agree with you. They, they, the last point of the speaker is correct. Then they'll ask you again. You say, I agree, I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> Listen, when you're saying, Lord, put me where kings are seated, they don't used to say, I agree with you. Everybody must bring something to the table. Lord, prepare me for the help I am praying for. Let me build stature. Let me build I don't want to disgrace your name. Lift up your two hands. Make that prayer. Say, my father, my father. I need you to say like you really mean. Say, my father, my father. I need you to shout it. Say, my father, my father. Prepare me for my help. Say, my father, my father. Prepare me for my help. Let your amen turn the louder. I don't know who you are, but blood has consistently been coming out of your, your nose. Even while I'm speaking right now, blood is coming out and you're trying to wipe it. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I command, let it be reversed by fire. 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 Through your dreams, the Spirit of God said to me that you, you, you used to get revelations through your dreams. But right now, all your dreams are everywhere. It never used to be like before again. I don't know what happened. But as your amen will thunder, let there be a restoration of that revelational dreams. Let there be a restoration of those revelational dreams. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Anybody under the sound of my voice, they took something from you in the dream and ran away. And they never brought it back. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, this demonic transaction, I command let it be terminated 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 let your amen turn the louder somebody declared this is your will say finally the lord has brought me to that season where people i don't know will help me massively let your amen turn down let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise 
I don't know who you are, but you're into livestock farming. But all, every of your lives, they are dying massively. But the help of God has come. I command whatever that is responsible, let it be terminated right now. Let it be terminated right now. Let it be terminated. Somebody thunder, my help has come. Angel, the supernatural, released Peter from the prison. And Peter walked out and entered the city. And began to walk and got to the gate where the brethren were. The final answer. And Peter knocked at the gate. Rhoda came out, checked him out. He said, Ah, bro, peace, yo. Sir, it was Rhoda. Brethren were praying. They didn't even believe that their answer can come. They were busy, still busy with prayer. Peter would have knocked on that door tire. And like he kept saying, I'm Peter, I'm Peter. He would have explained, Taya. He would just be explaining, explaining. He said, I, I am Piro, I'm Piro, I'm Piro. Please tell them, Piro, tell them, sir, the help had come. The help they were asking had come. But that help needed to be conveyed through a man. And that is that small girl called Rhoda. Little small girl that was at the gate. Rhoda, hey! Propecia, propecia. And she runs back to the house. Hey, brethren, pray, pray, pray. So Lord, he said, Bro, peace at the gate. So, are you mad? Peter, they want to kill. So you find brethren that were praying that they didn't even believe that Peter was going to be released. But that's not where I'm going to. I'm talking about Rhoda. Everybody needs a Rhoda. Rhoda is the con they are not the ones that did it we know it's god that did it it's god that brought out peter but rhoda is the one that makes the help you are asking for become visible some of us have dishonored our rhodas some of us at some point this is peter upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against but he needed small rhoda there's a help for you. But the problem is you can't keep treating people the way you treat them. Did you hear what I just said right now? You need to be more honorable. Don't let people know that if I don't need you, I, I never ask for you. I don't know, know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Don't treat people like you know they're a means to an end. Sir, treat them well. People of God, treat them well. Let me say to you, you see, some of you who follow people for dinner or lunch and all of that, watch how they talk to those who they feel don't matter in their life. Watch how they talk to those who they, when they get, watch how they talk to security people. Watch how they speak to them. You never can tell your rhoda is one negligible person. People of God, let me say this. If God gives you the wisdom to know your rhoda, the one that God decides this, to package your help through. Honor them. Love them. People of God, overserve them. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Overserve them. Don't ever have that mentality. My help is, is only God. It's only God. It's only God, but he will, use, he will use human beings. He will use human beings. I never look at people of God. I want you to always see what God has put in them for you, not their behavior towards you. Did you hear what I just said right now? He used wisdom. They said, this is what God has put in these people for me, not their behavior to, because that's how some of us lost our helpers, because been, he spoke to me this way. He, the, the, this, that's not what you should be looking at. What has God put inside of you for me? Let me give you an example. Do you know it was Elijah that was telling Elisha, go, 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 go. I don't want you to follow me. I don't want you to follow me. And you know that guy is temperamental. It's not even how the Bible just uh, wrote it that he was saying. The guy must have shouted at him. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? He says, sir, it's okay. I will shall follow you. I'm sorry, sir. Are you mad? Yes, sir. Are you crazy? It's not my intention, sir. It's okay, sir. What are you saying? You are carrying what I need. 
the mantle I carry, you are carrying is inside you. And you think you will talk me out of destiny. So even if you talk from today to tomorrow, your behavior is not my problem. What you carry is what I need. So it's that thing that you carry, that's what I am looking for. And all. And this is the way that, that, that Naomi, Naomi went and told Ruth. Return to your people. I cannot be pregnant. I cannot be. <laughs> Naomi said, hey, Ruth said, don't be too. Entreat me not to leave you. Don't ask me to depart. It is not your behavior I'm looking at. It's not this thing you are saying I'm looking at. You will carry my new season. You will carry my next level. If God causes you to descend your order, and you are here saying, you know, I don't take nonsense. You see, one thing with me here is that I mind my business. When they think they are, they are all that, they are really not all that. So I don't take it from anybody. Cool down. Cool down. We all take it from somebody. Do you understand what I am talking about? That's the truth. We all, every one of us, we take it from somebody. And then that's the yes, sir. It's okay, sir. That is what the yes, sir. This one is the yes, sir. And then sigh yourself into your new season. Because if you are here telling your, yeah, it, it is not, it is not, you know, the, because the thing is that where their behavior towards you wrong, yes, it was legit wrong. But is it behavior that I'm going to eat in destiny? Behave anyhow you like, shall be giving me value. That's all I want. Remember, the church had received their answer, but Rhoda needed to deliver it. Your prayers have long been answered. But then again, between you and your answer is Rhoda. Rhoda is looking at you. Rhoda is watching your behavior. Rhoda is looking and discerning you, people of God. Don't think that so far is how far. There is more that can happen. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. Don't think that so far is how far. There is more that can happen. Descend your Rhoda. Descend your Rhoda. And Peter kept knocking on the door. Rhoda has seen me. Rhoda will work for me. Rhoda will. And he never gave up. It is wisdom. Never look at the behaviors of your Rhodas. Look at what they carry that you need. Did I make sense? Rise on your feet wherever you are. Will you get the anointing oil? Would you anoint your forehead? I pray over every oil you have, it ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very glory and power of God. I pray over every hand that has the oil, it ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the outstretched arm of the Lord. Anoint your forehead. I'm led to declare this. The favor that comes and the help that causes things to happen early. Did you hear what I just said? Some of you have been pursuing something. And it looks like you're just going round in circles. The help that terminates waiting. If your amen were thunder, I announce. Receive it right now! Receive it right now! Receive it right now! I announce that your help has come. Let your amen thunder louder. Please put the oil on your, on your hand again. And please find a way of touching the ground. At the sound of your amen. I decree. Let the earth open for you. Let the earth let the harvest of yesteryears I decree let it become your evidence right now we decree let cities let nations let them open for your destiny let gates open for you right now the season you prayed about has finally come. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. I am led to declare this in this thought service. You see this earth. It will not swallow you this year. 
it will not even swallow you in 20 years to come you are preserved it is done it is done let your amen thunder would you lift up your hands and declare my help has come I need you to scream it louder my help has come go ahead quickly and put together if you know that the service sounded like your service put together your offerings your tithes and your partnership and lift it all before the Lord in streams of joy we stand to give to God because we understand that we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords together your offerings it is the custom of this house for us to rise on our feet to give to God so I encourage you to please rise on your feet with your offering your tithe and your partnership make it a wave offering is the protocol of this house for us to stand to give to God once your name is not Jesus, rise on your feet wherever you are and make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with our offerings, our tithe and our partnership be your portion. The devourer has been rebuked and the windows of heaven have opened unto you. Blessings poured out there will not be room enough to contain. In Jesus' name.